LaunchChat is a full-featured communication application from Saltillo, accessible through iTunes for the iPad, the iPod, or the iPhone. Just like our more sturdy devices from the NovaChat line of products, TouchChat serves as an alternative voice, either as a primary alternative to speech or as a supportive piece to an existing device. The iPod, iPad, or iPhone can be purchased from the Apple Online Store or any retail store that sells them. TouchChat is sold through iTunes under the developer SilverKite. TouchChat currently supports synthesized voices, or you can use a recorded voice. A typical TouchChat screen is made up of the vocabulary area filled with various layouts of buttons. Buttons are selected by tapping or pressing on the touch screen. Depending upon the type of button, selecting it may speak a word, phrase, or sentence, navigate you to a new page, or perform an editing action. This area is known as the speech display bar. This is the area that text will appear as you type. Tap the X and it will remove the last word. Press and hold the X and it clears the display all at once. The menu bar allows access to editing menus and lets you choose which language configuration will be used. Pages can be linked to one another with navigation actions. These require a button press or a go back to another page. Pages can also be linked to one another with visit actions. No button is required for navigating back. Other button action choices provide many options for empowering the device user in ways to meet their specific needs. All of these actions and the social acceptance of the iPad platforms combined offer quite a powerful communication option with TouchChat. We are excited for the opportunities TouchChat has to offer to the field of AAC. Welcome back to Autism Live. You just saw a short informational video about something called TouchChat. And let me just tell you, when my phone lines and my emails start to be burned up by people calling me and saying, hey, do you know about this thing? I'm always all ears, right? But in particular, if therapists start calling me up and messaging me and saying, do you know about this? Because this is so much better than what we've used in the past. It really catches my attention. And my uh, social media and things were being burned up by therapists that I trust this last week. And I said, we've got to get these people on the show. So joining us via Skype right now is Dave Hirschberger. He is the CEO of the parent company of T Touch Chat. And Dave, welcome to Autism Live. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I'm thrilled to have you here. I, I want to start by asking you very simply, what is Touch Chat? And why are these therapists calling me up and saying how great it is? What's this all about? <laughs> okay, so, so Touch Chat is, a, is an app that uh, essentially transforms the, uh, an iPad into a communication environment. And so, uh, and sometimes it's used for a, a bridge until natural uh, voice develops. Other times it's a more permanent or a more long-term solution. And um, so from a most basic perspective, um, it allows someone to generate messages and then to have those messages be spoken uh, through the internal speech th synth synthesizer. So if someone who has uh, you know, good motor skills, good spelling skills, they could type messages or use the word predictor system. But many of the individuals who use the system um, actually have, you have limited or emerging literacy skills. And so we have, uh, it, there's a set of pages that uh, interlink pages that allow someone to generate um, messages uh, without having to, to, to spell them. And if I had to, um, uh, you know, 
we, we feel there's a, a number of reasons on why people um, are experiencing success. Um, as a developer and a designer, I would be inclined to sort of point to some of the, the features and the techie aspects. But in reality, you know, we really believe that it's the it's these vocabulary files. Uh, so there's a number of vocabulary files in touch chat that range that have you know that range a pretty broad uh, spectrum of communication needs. And uh, many people use word power. So for example, this is in a uh, the, the screen we just saw was word power. And um, so word power was designed, was developed by uh, Nancy Inman. Uh, Nancy is a very highly respected clinician who has spent her career um, working with implementing and developing uh, vocabulary systems for uh, for assistive products like this and essentially what it allows what word power allows you to do is to navigate through uh, to create sentences and allows you to create it word by word so that you're not locked into a, uh, a set you know some pre-stored sentences but it also allows you to, but it doesn't require you to generate these words letter by letter so word power and then also uh, words for life that is uh, that's available from our sister company um, a Prenke Romic company is uh, these are these are word-based vocabularies that are based on many years of clinical expertise clinical experience and so on and so if I had to sort of choose one area to look at on why people are successful it really would be the vocabulary systems it's very, I, I'm hearing wonderful things and I'm hearing it's very intuitive, uh, that it's very quick, the learning curve to be able to make sentences. So I think that's remarkable. I'm curious though, how does, how does something like this come to be? Is this that, that there was a driving force that somebody had somebody in their life that couldn't communicate? How did the germ of this idea to create this app happen? So I have been very fortunate to have been, um, I have been working in assistive technology now for almost 40 years. Um, most of this, most of this time has been spent in a field called uh, augmentative, uh, AAC, uh, augmentative and alternative communication. And what we really do is, is that sort of my role in this is to look at technology and see how can we develop an alternative means of communication for someone who can't use their uh, their natural speech and so this has been just an incredible journey over the past uh, number of years uh, we do things with technology now that we couldn't even have dreamt about 30 years ago but it's not only the it, it's not only the technology that has has uh, advanced there's probably there's been just as much advancement in in clinical knowledge and clinical experience so for example we know much more now about um, you know language acquisition language development and how that and, and how that applies to uh, you know when tech other types of technology are being used uh, for speech we also know much more about uh, for example, kids with autism, how, how, they, how they interact with the world, how they interpret information. And so it was, so you sort of, my role in this is to see how can we take that information and integrate it into technology as it advances. And so when uh, mobile technology like the iPad and iPhone came out, it became apparent that this was uh, an ideal platform. It was readily available. It was relatively inexpensive for for many users uh, to be able to. Uh, you know, this would make a good platform for uh, for this type of product. And so, largely, what TouchChat is is sort of an evolution of something that we've been doing for 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 quite a few years. And how can families get access to TouchChat? So. Um, uh, Touch Chat is available on iTunes, uh, so the basic version is available for uh, $149, and the version with uh, with Word Power is $299. And then there's also other voices that you can get, other languages, and so forth. Remarkable. 
And it isn't just, as you were saying, it isn't just used by people who are on the autism spectrum. Who else is using this technology and really enjoying it? So, so there's a number of, you know, there, there are many people who can't, uh, who are unable to speak with their natural voice, and there's a number of reasons for this. And every, indi every individual is unique, so they have a unique set of abilities, of, of needs and requirements, and these might have to do with uh, vocabulary, it might have to do with access, it might have to do with portability or durability. And, and so really the point we want to make, that, that I want to make, is that this is not necessarily a one-size-fits-all. Uh, you really have to look at the individual and look at their specific needs. And, you know, and solutions can vary from anything from manual boards to apps to, uh, to, you know, to custom or dedicated devices. But the flexibility that's in TouchChat um, really allows it to be adapted uh, for, for varying needs. And, uh, you know, we have individuals who have been diagnosed with, uh, with apraxia, with uh, uh, selective uh, mutism, with um, uh, fragile X, Down syndrome. So uh, really a number of different uh, conditions. But I also do, would like to add that um, touch chat, like any technology, is a tool. And in the same way that we don't expect to give someone a piano and, and she becomes a gifted musician on her own, the same is true of technology with, you know, as, as important as a tool is, it's also important how, you know, to learn how to use that tool. So we can't underestimate the, the need and the value of clinical intervention and implementation. Absolutely. I, we have a regular viewer who is sort of our AAC uh, expert because he uses that kind of technology. And I'm, of course, Mike, I don't know if you're watching, Mike Hipple. Uh, so uh, he gets so excited. He's watching. Fabulous. He gets so excited when we cover um, things that help give functional communication um, to individuals because he speaks very eloquently through his device about how important it was for him as a young man to be able to find his voice through this. So, I, Mike, I'm thrilled that you're watching. Uh, and I want you to check out Touch Chat, Mike, because I think you're going to really love it. Uh, this, and, and, of course, Mike reminds us on a regular basis that this kind of technology is life-changing. So I'm just curious, what's your favorite success story from Touch Chat? Wow, this is this is tough. Um, so I have really, I, it's it's been quite an honor to really meet many people whose lives have been changed by what they can do with Touch Chat, and you know, and and really success, you know, success looks as different as the the, the variety of individuals uh, who use the technology. Um, I really think that. A successful communication is when it, you can really, when a person's voice really allows you to see the person, the person behind it. And so, um, I think what I would like to do is uh, sort of introduce you to a very special uh, young lady. Uh, her name is Mira, and uh, you can meet her or at least um, uh, see a video clip from her on YouTube. But um, Mira. Mira had a very tumultuous uh, early part of her life. At the age of five, she be she was welcomed into a very loving family, and this family soon was able to see that there was much more that Mira had to say than she was able to uh, communicate with her voice. And so, a few years ago, she started using Touch Chat, and um, last year, uh, Apple did a series of commercials uh, with individuals who were uh, using their technology uh, in, in, in unique ways. And uh, Mira was one of the stars of uh, one of these commercials. And you can find it on YouTube if you look for, um, I think it's called Design for Mira, uh, Design for Mira P. And Mira is, spe is spelled M-E-E-R-A. What I really love about this video is that it it shows you who Mary is. So it shows you how Touch Chat allowed her, allowed the world to see 
the person that the family already knew was there. So, yes, yeah, so Mira's just a very special young lady. Um, again, she's one of thousands of people who, who use Touch Chat. One of the reasons I pointed your attention to her is because watching this video shows you much more than I could talking about her for an hour. All right, we'll have to check it out. I want to thank you for everything that you're doing. Again, where can people go to get the app? Uh, you, uh, it's, it's available on iTunes. Uh, just do a search for Touch Chat. Okay, fabulous. And uh, I, I'm excited for our families to, to take a look and see because functional communication is everything. And we have to prioritize that and get that happening. And the giving, as you said, giving somebody an opportunity not only to have their voice heard, but to get to meet the person uh, who and who they are is it's invaluable. You can't you can't begin to imagine how amazing that can be until you've had the opportunity to do it. So thank you so much for being with us and give our love to everybody at Touch Chat. Okay, we will do that.